you can produce sound i can produce sound and you can hear different types of sounds but is it true that we can hear all types of sounds no it is not true is it true that you, the animals what type of sound they can hear we can also hear the same type of sounds it is also not true we can hear a certain range of sounds only and that range basically based on frequency and that range is called audible range so if the sound frequency is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz yes is audible range means the range of frequency we can produce and we can hear less than 20 hertz you can't hear more than 20000 hertz also can't hear so as human beings we can produce up to this limit up to this range 20 hertz to 20000 hertz it's called audible range now the sound waves which are less than 20 hertz are called infrasonics which are more than 20000 hertz are called ultrasonics infrasonics have very less applications but ultrasonics have wider applications earlier i have actually explained you about uses of ultrasonics in the concept called sonar there are more applications of ultrasonics one is cleaning capillary tubes cleaning capillary tubes capillary tubes means there's a glass tubes whose area of cross section is very very small area of cross section some some range of millimeters and micrometers micrometer means the thin of your hair those are tubes but size is thin of hair that means you cannot send the water inside this much of thickness of uh, tube how can you send the water how can you clean so that is possible by ultrasonics they will send the ultrasonic wave through the tube and thus those ultrasonic waves goes and clean the tube and you know the best example nowadays water purification water purification has done in many ways and one way is ultrasonic purification of water and one more application sonar actually we discussed is used for finding the depth of the sea and find the treasures under the sea water echocardiogram they send the ultrasonic waves into your body parts of the body they fall on the parts of the body reflect back and create an image on the computer screen generally this is used for knowing the functionality of your heart that's is called echocardiogram or echocardiography also one more application detection of stones in kidneys and gall but it's a very very you know advantage in the kidneys we have stones how do we know the kidneys have stones how many stones we have or in gall, gall bladder similar technique they will send the ultrasonic waves and it goes on to the into the kidneys and reflects back from the stones and show the stones on the computer screen nowadays you know the technology is developed you can use ultrasonic waves but technology developed using light waves laser light the laser rays goes inside they are not only showing the kidneys they are used for removing the kidneys also actually the laser light goes into the stone and they they you know they burn the stone they remove the stone completely so today the technology developed we have laser techniques which are advanced than ultrasonics the last application detection of, of flaws in pillar constructions a big bridge is constructed the on the uh, the bridge is supported by big pillars like in hyderabad the metro rail project the big pillars are supporting the bridges now if you see the pillar from outside the pillar is very very strong very big and very strong it is only correct when the pillar is completely solid inside also completely filled with matter mass inside sometimes what happens they are constructing some spaces are not filled inside the pillar like this this is the pillar maybe some places the mass is not filled and outside you can't see because it is polished but how do you know that whether the gaps there or not if the gaps are this very dangerous on the bridge if any car goes heavy way heavy weight car heavy weight truck goes for a long time that will damage the pillar because of the gaps so to detect the gaps they will send the ultrasonic waves on the pillar 
so the ultrasonic waves goes and enter into the hole and reflects back and tells that what is the size of the hole inside the pillar then they will repair they will make sure that those holes, holes the those holes are filled with the mass so that's how you have many applications of ultrasonic waves so far we discussed about the sound the properties of sound wave nature of sound speed of sound v equal to f lambda then we discussed about reflection of sound echo ultrasonics infrasonics and ultrasonics applications now it is a time to apply your knowledge to solve problems so here is the first problem for you flash and thunder are produced simultaneously but thunder is heard a few seconds after the flash has seen why flash is nothing but light thunder it's sound light speed light speed in air what is the value of light speed in air if you recall it it is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second means in one second it can travel 3 lakhs kilometers if you see the sound speed in air it is only 330 meters per second light speed is the maximum speed in the universe so far we know about physics of universe maximum speed it is 3 lakhs kilometers per second in one second it can travel 3 lakhs kilometers but it can travel only 330 meters that's the reason why you can see the light first and later you can hear the sound second problem for you audible range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz you need to calculate typical wavelengths at that frequencies or typical wavelength range for that audible range and take speed of sound 340 meters per second so how do we find this speed you know least frequency you know maximum frequency you know you need to find wavelength you know the formula v equals to f lambda okay but i want wavelength so lambda equals to v by f this is the formula you need to use so for the frequency least frequency 20 hertz the lambda lambda 1 equals to v is 340 frequency is 20 so the answer is 17 meters okay now f2 the highest frequency range 20000 hertz the lamb wavelength lambda 340 divided by 20000 now 0 0 cancel how much you get 17 by 1000 this is nothing but uh, 0 0.017 meters so that's how simply using this formula you can uh, get the two values one more problem for you frequency is 100 hertz how many times does it vibrate in one minute 100 hertz is nothing but 100 vibrations per second as i told you in the earlier class 100 vibrations per second 100 cycles per second 100 waves per second everything is correct and here the question is in one minute how many times it vibrate so you can start like this in one second it vibrates 100 times in one minute one minute means 60 seconds how many times it vibrate so 60 by 1 into 100 so this is nothing but 6000 vibrations in one minute so one more challenging problem for you there's a tower of height 500 meters at the bottom of the tower you have pond a stone is dropped and stone falls on the pond and produce the sound now the question is how long it takes to produce the sound or how long it takes to hear the sound produced by the pond so it asks you to find time taken to hear the sound okay now how do we calculate if you see this picture the stone has to travel from here to here some time will be taken let us say the time is t1 after stone falls in the pond the waves are produced and the waves travels to the height 
to this point then the person who is standing here the person who is standing here can hear the sound so this time this time is t2 so t1 plus t2 is the total time so say total capital t if i take capital t equals to t1 plus t2 is equation 1 now first we find the t1 as the stone is dropped freely its initial velocity u equal to 0 t1 is the time taken height is given as it's falling down acceleration a equal to plus g so therefore you can use the formula s equal to ut plus half at square now height is 500 equals to 0 plus c half into g g is 10 so half into 10 is 5 5 t square let me write t1 square so therefore 5 t1 square equal to 500 and t1 square is 100 implies t equals to plus r minus 10 we take positive number which is 10 seconds you got t1 10 seconds now it means the the stone is on the pond surface of the pond now it flashed the sound when it splashed the sound the sound has to travel to that point so we need to take now speed of the sound speed of the sound is 340 meters per second and you know the speed equal to distance by time i want time which is distance by speed let me write t2 so the distance travel is 500 meters and speed of sound is 340 and if you simplify this 300 340 you will get a 1.47 seconds so therefore the total time t equals to 10 seconds plus 1.47 which is nothing but 11.47 seconds so it takes 11.47 seconds time to hear the sound produced by the surface of a water in the pond so one more problem for you sound wave travels at a speed of 339 meters per second if its wavelength is 1.5 meter what is the frequency of the wave so you know the formula v equal to f lambda therefore frequency f equals to v by lambda so speed is 339 the lambda is 1.5 so if you simplify this you get the answer 226 hertz that substitution problem one more problem for you there's a ship on the surface of the sea water and uh, through the ship the sonar machine used and send the waves and the sonar produce an echo at time five seconds and distance between the point under the sea water to the ship is 3625 meters now the question is calculate speed of the sound so by seeing this diagram you can recall that it is based on echo and the echo formula is d equals to vt by 2 but our interest to find speed of the sound you just change the formula v equal to 2d by t now 2 into distance is 3625 by 5 seconds then if you Simplify this, you will get 14, 50 meters per second. So this is the speed of the sound in water. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.